Hello everyone and welcome to my channel, Two Ships Tarot. And this week will be a general weekly reading for the sign of Cancer for the week of May 23rd through to the 29th of 2022. Hello everyone and welcome back. I hope you're all doing well. And at this time, I would also like to thank everyone who has given my channel a thumbs up, subscribed, and left a comment. Thank you very much. It is greatly appreciated. All right, Cancer, let's see what this week has in store for you. the four of swords so feeling like you're need some time out for yourself to uh, regroup re, be uh, <clears throat> need some R&R &R is what you need maybe there's a heavy uh, workload hanging over you some sort of misunderstanding you just need a time to retreat a little bit get your bearings you know, take care of yourself. And the Knight of Swords. So somebody coming in here with some sort of news. Maybe somebody coming in or you're thinking of maybe taking a trip. Usually it's somebody by air, whether that's you or somebody coming in to you. You know, they have a lot of a lot of, lot to say. They don't, you know, they just sort of flip their lips. You know, try not to uh, take what they have to say too too literally. And the Knight of Rods, or the King of Rods. Sorry. King of Rods. So that's a uh, fire sign, Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. And usually they're pretty good. They're very decisive, motivated, they take charge. Um, they don't get carried away with things. They think before they leap. You know. Maybe you need to practice what you preach. Maybe that's what they're telling you. And the tower card. So something has come to an end. Now whether that's you've made it come to an end or it has happened, you know, to you. It could be a, also just a sudden um, insight or flash of what you need to do or to make your life a little bit easier here which is always nice. It doesn't mean that everything's going to crumble around behind you, but sometimes it does. So we always have to be, you know, ready for that. It could be just something so simple as a wake-up call. You know, maybe something happens in the family and we need to make some sort of quick decision here. And the Three of Pentacles. So you're very uh, knowledgeable You've been, you know, keeping your pentacles close to yourself. You're good at your job. People look up to you. They respect you. They know what you talk about is usually pretty much what you say is what you give. Take pride in your, your uh, workmanship and home life. And the Ten of Pentacles. And so... You, know, you have more than enough uh, mentally and physically here. You know you, you don't feel like you're going to have to worry, nor is your family or extended family. You have enough that you feel like you could share quite open-heartedly with them, which is lovely. And the Empress. So abundance, fertility, 
inspiration, um, source of wealth in your life. You know, her stuff, whatever she usually touches, grows and flourishes. You know, sort of like Mother Earth. And the Three of Rods. So you're standing on the edge of a mountain here, looking out over the sea, waiting for your ships to come in. You've put your little feelers out for different things and you're just waiting for it to come. You, you have a firm foundation here and uh, you're just waiting for things to grow and come back to you. And the Knight of Pentacles. That's usually a travel of some sort. And it could be just something so simple as taking a walk around the block. It's just nice to do that. Or take a walk in a park or the woods. Just helps you clear your head and breathe a little bit easier. And not think so much. Get some clarity. And the Page of Pentacles. So you have quite a few pentacles here, for sure, which is always good. Some sort of opportunity coming in. It's knocking on your door. Could be a chance maybe to close some sort of deal that you've been working on for a while or, or um, a new assignment of some sort. Something's being offered to you here. Your health is good, which is nice. Oh, wow. That is a nice card. It's a very lucky card. So, talent, work, results, material gains here, which is usually your pentacles, is usually your financials. You know, maybe a Need to go see a financial advisor for where to invest some of your capital gains here so that you can have more in the future so it can grow. You know, maybe you're going to embark on some dream that you've had for quite some time now. So that's lovely. And then the Temptress. Yeah. So you're going to be a little more accepting of others as being as good as their word, which is nice. Material gains, inheritance, um, peace of mind for yourself, which is wonderful. Because that always flows more over into your to your life and to others that are around you. Yeah. And the four of rods. So definitely a good foundation. You have a very solid foundation for yourself and your family. And you are okay with that. They're okay with that. And you feel like you have more than enough that you don't have to be overly stressed or worried about it at this time in your life which is nice it's nice to just breathe and not to have to worry how it's going because here you have like i said the four of rods very home stable surroundings your foundation is good you're starting on the right foot things are blooming and coming into growth and which is wonderful for you And the Queen of Cups. So this could be yourself or someone else in your life. The Queen or the Cups is usually Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces. And they're very fluid people. Maybe you're going to make something in your life real. Now that could be uh, romantic. Maybe it's time to commit to somebody or something. You know, maybe you've been 
thinking about making a family perhaps even and it's time now hmm interesting and the four of cups so you're very stable and uh, I think you're just sort of wondering now what to do you're almost to the point that you're so stable and and uh, not much worry that you're bored if you <laughs> it's become almost stagnant to you wondering which way to go but Bring them home a flower sometimes is the best just to rekindle a bit and a ten of pentacles so wow home life abundance contentment joy you definitely uh, are doing well for yourself and your home and your family and you're quite content and you can share it and rejoice in it because you have earned it it's quite a prosperous week for you and your surroundings and your family life quite happy and content all right cancer I'm going to shuffle and deal you an angel oracle card and uh, see what they can nudge you or help you clarify something in your life or within this reading shuffle and your card is yes the timing is right for this new venture a happy outcome flows and a happy outcome follows your positive experience experiences your positive expectations so so if you think well it will happen well and it looks wonderfully well <laughs> you have a happy home here you have things you can share you're feeling just robust this week with yourself and you should all right cancer I want to thank you again and I will talk to you again next week. Till then, stay safe, stay healthy, and bye for now.